can get pretty bored. So I thought I would teach you a cool summer DIY. This summer DIY is pretty fun. It helps you pass some time, and it can even be some cool wall art for your room if you wanted. It's melted crayon art. Okay, so the materials you'll need for this DIY are a canvas. I just have this thin one, but you can use a thick one or just canvas paper if you'd like. Crayons, obviously. Some glue and a hair dryer. So the first thing you want to do is figure out what you want to do. You can lay the crayons lightest to darkest, you can do a rainbow, or you could just do your favorite color. It's really up to you. So I'm doing the colors of the rainbow. So what I did was I picked all of the colors of the rainbow, lined them up, and I took all of their wrappers off. So, I don't think taking off all the wrappers is necessary, but I did it just to see if it would do more melting. And I gotta tell you, it took some time. Okay, so I'm just going to do a basic rainbow pattern, but I'm sure you can put some tape or some stickers or anything like that, or you could just block out an area and draw something there if you want. Okay, so once you figure out what pattern you like, just like all of your crayons out on the top edge until you like the way it looks. Okay, so I already know how I want mine to be placed, so now it's time to glue them down. You could ask your parents to use a hot glue gun and that would take a shorter time to dry, but I'm going to use normal school glue. It might take a little longer to dry, but I can do it myself. Okay, so I've got them all down and I like how they look. So now I just have to wait for them to dry. It'll probably take a little less than an hour. Okay, so now all my crayons have dried onto the canvas. So I'm gonna put it on this stand. And what's great about this stand is that it leans. So if I put it down more, the melting will slow down. If I put it up more, it'll go faster. And if you don't have a stand, you can lean your canvas against a wall or lean it against a glass of water on a table and make sure you secure your uh, workspace. I put a bunch of parchment paper down just in case. Okay, now it's time to do the funnest part, melting the crayons. So I'm using a hair dryer and I'm going to put it on the medium setting because I feel like if I put it on the highest setting, the wax from the crayons might splatter everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to get my hair dryer, point it down on the crayons, and they should start melting in under a minute.
I'm done. I love it. But I think I should let it cool. It shouldn't take more than an hour. Okay, so here's my finished product and I love it. I think it's so cool. 